everybody, this is the Reno team and we wanted to do a drop test of where these rings end up on the field once we put all 10 of them on the red side and 10 of them on the blue side through the human player slots here. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, I want to say this is not an ideal setup for the human player. We're just space constrained. So FYI, here we go. So yeah, it seems like, let me do the other five now. Based on the way, at least ours is set up, and it might be different for other people, it keeps drifting towards the other team's side. It actually got stuck. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. I think the way we set up our human player slot on the blue side is a little bit different than the red side. Um, and you saw that by the way that one of them got stuck actually. And I was trying to be very consistent in how it was going. But as you can see, it seems like there's a whole lot of variance and where they end up on the field, and they do tend to roll a lot. I think the majority ended up on the ends of the field instead of the middle. And that probably isn't always the case because there'll be robots in the middle that can hit the rings or wobbly goals that can uh, the rings can bump into and then stop. But yeah, I think this is a pretty cool test, like a real life st stats distribution. <laughs> All right, anyways, that's about it for this video. Go ahead and check out our other videos on the YouTube channel, and bye-bye. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Thanks to Rev Robotics and GoBuildUp for supplying components and providing on-stream giveaways.